start up a whole new week with everybody. Um, just a quick side note, I think this is going to be the last week that we um, do every morning on Instagram. I'd like to keep um, a few Instagram mornings and add a few actual live uh, in the park morning classes too. So just stay tuned. I don't have it all figured out yet, but um, try to keep the balance for, for those of us who like to be outside and um, and then still having some, some content uh, that's accessible on the social media as well. So I'll keep you posted. But anyway, we're here now, so uh, let's practice, right? Generally, I like to start off a week with a pretty well-rounded yoga practice, just meaning that um, we'll kind of get a little bit of everything. We'll get some good deep stretching, we'll move around a little bit, we'll flow a little bit, we'll do some balancing, we'll do some twisting. Um, you know, just make sure that we kind of hit on all the major points and try to at least get a posture in um, that will feel, will feel good almost everywhere in your body. We only have 60 minutes, so <laughs> sometimes it's hard to get all of that in, but we're gonna certainly give it a whirl. Remember, it's always up to you what um, is working on the mat, what feels good, what seems right. Listening to your body is the number one task of any determined yogi, is to set aside your ego for a little while and get out of that space in your mind of what you think you should be doing, don't worry about that. Just do what you know you want, what you know feels good. And uh, everything else will kind of open itself up to you along the way. But um, lots of options, lots of modifications, make it work for you on this Monday morning. Um, if you're practicing someplace that's particularly warm, make sure you have some water nearby if you need it. And away we go. Let's start out. We're going to begin in a downward facing tree pose version. So this is a prone position on your belly. If you need something like I've got a little blanket, I'm just going to put under my abdomen and my hip bones for some extra comfort. You can do that. It's certainly not required. And then pull your right knee out and open to the side, just like that. And you don't have to keep your foot connected to your left thigh like tree pose, you can kick it out so that it maybe looks a little bit more like a frog leg. And then feel free to come on down, relax your chest, stack up your forearms, let your forehead rest there, close your eyes, and allow the weight of your body to just start Softly sinking, gently melting into your mat. No need to hold on. Let go of the tension in your glutes and your low back. Feel your hip bones and your heavy belly. And then just trust that your body is going to continue to relax. You don't have to force that process. It'll continue softening on its own now that you've found some stillness. Instead, turn your focus and awareness to the sound and the feel of your breath. At first, just simply noticing your natural breath rhythm this morning. How does the cycle of your inhale and exhale feel? And if it seems like there's room for you to begin stretching out your breath, feel free to do so. Make your inhales a little bit longer. Pull past your lungs and down into your belly. Feel the back side of your body rise. Exhale, slow, steady, satisfying breath out. 
feel the weight of your body. The bottom of the exhale, you're empty for just a moment. And then start again. Inhale. Exhale out. Smoothing out both sides of the breath so that it just flows in and right back out like ocean waves, right? one after the next. Sometimes it's particularly helpful to just imagine that in your mind for a moment. Like your breath is a wave that rushes up onto your body. And just like a wave as it hits the beach, when it pulls back out to sea, it sort of takes with it anything that will go, right? Anything there on the shore gets pulled back out into the water. So as your breath washes up, feel that sensation. And on the exhale, let go of anything you don't need to hold on to anymore, whether it's physical, spiritual, mental. Just see if that wave of exhalation will take it away. Try about five more on your own. I even notice the sound of your breath starts to remind you a little bit of waves. Give it some volume, give it some texture. Ujjayi pranayama. One more time, smooth and steady in. Exhale completely out. And then on your next inhale, just lift your forehead, your chin. Good. You're going to keep the shape of your lower body, so don't change your legs, but just walk yourself up onto your elbows or forearms for a moment. Slightly deeper stretch is going to make its way through your spine. And then drop your chin down and gently in towards your chest until you feel a stretch right down the back of your neck, all the way into the space between your shoulder blades. And bring your head back up to neutral. Inhale. Good. Take a look towards your left shoulder as far as you can. Just check it in, see how you feel in the neck and shoulders. Good. Look as far to the right as you can. Back to center, slightly up. Don't overextend here, just more or less lifting the gaze. And then bring your head back to neutral, press into your hands. Lift your elbows just slightly. You're gonna take your left hand, that's the opposite hand of your open knee, and scoop it right underneath if you're like you're threading the needle. Lay down on your left shoulder and roll back into a nice big twist. Go slowly. This is our first posture of the practice, so no need to rush. Just roll back, see how it feels. If anything starts to unlock in your spine, you can use your left hand here to reach down, hold on to that little nook behind your right knee. Just putting some pressure there so you get better leverage on the twist. Five deep exhales right here. Let your right arm hang open, or maybe even sweep it up and over your head and feel some length move in along your right ribs. Just 
Unroll all the way back to your belly. Draw both forearms out in front. Shake through your spine a tad. Just let your booty wiggle a little bit. Get some tension out of your low back. And left knee pulls up and open. Start by just coming down to rest and relax. We'll pause here again for about a minute and go right back to that smooth, steady breathing. Think about those waves of breath moving in and out. Just like we said that a wave will pull things off the shore, it also leaves new things, right? Every time a wave comes up, maybe something new finds its way onto the beach. So use your inhale now. Focus there on what you'd like to bring into your day, into your body, into your mind. What intention do you have for your practice? Maybe there's a dedication of some kind. Let's do a little inventory here. trying to cultivate? What are you trying to dismiss? Don't tense up the back side of your body. Unclench your glutes. Unclench your teeth. Just relax. most powerful sensation in your body right now should be coming from your breath. Just a few more. Anytime you're ready, then just gently lift yourself up those elbows in. So you find a little sphinx pose in your upper body. Leave the lower half just as it is. Good. And then this time, maybe just roll some circles halfway around and back. Loosening up. Inhale. Here we go. Lift up. Elbows off the ground. Right arm sneaks right through here. Once you're laying all the way down on your shoulder, then go ahead and roll it back. Right hand can pin down your left thigh or knee. Make a little adjustment if you need to. And then just lay back into that twist. It's always a nice way to start off a new week with a great big twist. First thing, right off the bat.
get creative with your left arm. Maybe you want to try swinging that up over your head for just a moment or two. Bring a little space in between those left ribs. Really fill up your chest with breath. One more inhale. And then exhale. Good. As you roll to your belly, let both legs stretch out long. Come back up. Work to your elbows. Again, shake out your spine. Hips, glutes, legs, all the way down to your toes. All right. And then now we'll slide the hands back. So into position, pushing up and back to child's pose. Make sure your palms are pressing flat. Thumbs are right outside your ribs. Inhale, take it up, engage your core, and back to any variation of child's pose, <coughs> excuse me, that feels good to you. If you feel like bringing your knees out wider or sweeping your hands back alongside you, go right ahead. <coughs> excuse me for a moment. Let that stillness settle into your mind and body here for a moment. And then when you feel ready, shift it back up to find hands and knees or tabletop pose. From all fours, begin to make your favorite spinal movements and warm-ups here. So perhaps some cats and cows. You've always got the option to flip your hands around a little bit. Try some different variations to open up the wrists and forearms. Maybe a little twisting. So I'm not gonna tell you what to do here for the next minute, just to explore. Don't worry what it looks like. Just pay attention to what it feels like. All the really good, magical stuff about yoga is going on on the inside, right? It's cool to see really fancy, intricate postures, but you never know how that feels until you do it in your own body. And sometimes the simpler movements are the ones that actually feel the best. So take your time, sort it out, Make some mental notes as you move through, just about what you notice, what you feel. Try not to make judgments or expectations, but just simple observations. And then when you're ready for your first downward facing dog, that's where we're gonna meet. Toes tuck, hips lift, take it back. Abhuka Svanasana, downward facing dog. Lift and lower your heels. Sometimes letting the head just bob around. 
help encourage that softness. And then when you're ready, release any arm variations before you roll and stack all the way up. We'll come to stand tall. Good. Make some little adjustments, fidgets, get all that stuff out of the way so that when you're ready for Samos Titihi, you can find some stillness. Palms press, all ten toes spread out and root down and lift up through the crown of your head. Equal standing pose. Check back in with those intentions and dedications, whatever it was that you were hoping to cultivate, perhaps what you're willing to offer up. Hold that in your mind for a moment. And then let's send it out on an OM this morning. So a deep inhale. Oh. And exhale, let your hands fall to your sides, eyes open up. All right, away we go. We'll start off with some sun salutation. We're going to put a bunch of twists into this sun A, so a slightly different variation from the usual. Arms come up on your inhale, sweep them overhead. Standing twist on your exhale, open to the right. Pull your belly button to your spine, squeeze your inner thighs together. Back through center, inhale, palms press overhead, gaze goes up to your thumbs. Exhale, standing twist to the left, squeeze everything to the midline of the body. Back to the middle one more time, palms reach, up, little baby back bend if you want it. Exhale, dive down. Fold over the legs, half lift to length. You're at the back of your mat, so you're going to walk it out to plank on your inhale. Hold there and exhale down halfway or all the way to Haraka. Up dog or cobra, remember cobra is a little back bend. Up dog, everything is off the mat except the tops of your feet and the palms of your hands. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Right leg will lift in down dog. You can just sweep it up straight behind you or do an open hip version. That's up to you today. Hold on to that for a bonus breath or two. Make some little movements that feel good. And then swing your right foot through. Big step to the hands. Stay in the low lunge for a moment. Let your back knee bend and maybe it comes down or maybe it just barely hovers over the mat and then put a little twist in right here. Right arm comes up. Right, so first look at what's really going on in the hips. Again, feel free to bring that knee all the way down if you need a little more support. And then release. Both hands down. Step to the top of your mat and fold. Exhale completely. Reverse and rise. Come up. Now we're at the top. Okay, I'm going to scoot back just a little bit. You stay right there. Arms up and over. Good. Left side twist first. Exhale, squeeze. Look back for your left thumb behind you. Through the middle. You get that little baby back bend. Then you twist right. You take it back to center one more time. Palms meet. Exhale. Release and fold. Half lift and lengthen here. Now step hop or walk back to a high plank. And exhale lower again. Up dog or cobra. Now if you wanted to skip all that, you could just hold that plank. Get a little bit of extra core work in. Not so much pressure on the shoulders. You do what feels right to you. Hips go up nice and high. Back to downward facing dog. Left side. Three-legged dog on your inhale. Stay on the exhale. Take a few more breaths. Maybe you open the hip. Maybe just feels good to wiggle your toes or twirl your ankle. For three, two, one. Step through. Low lunge. Right knee sinks close or all the way to the mat. Your choice. Left arm comes up. 
Dragonfly twist of Paribrita Anjaneyasa to the left side. Follow with your gaze up to your left fingertips. Breathe in. Both hands to the mat. Again, step to the top and fold. Now we'll go full salutation, just straight up and through to the top. Surya Namaskara. Exhale, dive right back down. No twisting, just a straight salute. Half lift, Ardha Uttanasana, Joharanga Dandasana, back. And again, option to just plank through this. Joharanga's lift up. Back to downward facing dog. Looking at your feet, we'll do it one more time, both sides, and we're starting at the back of the mat. So walk your hands to the very back. Swing your feet a little closer together. Exhale into your forward fold. Reverse rise, roll and stack. However you'd like to come up. Palms press overhead. Open to the right, squeeze. Now hold that open to the right twist this time. Hold on to it. If you feel good right there, keep both feet on the ground. If you want a little bit extra here, pick up your right foot. Use your left hand, grab your right knee. Make a little bit bigger twist there. If you still need more, you can find the bottom of your right foot and kick your leg out long. That's a big pose, so do what feels good to you. Two. And one. Release your foot or your knee. Inhale, swing back to center. Straighten up. Palms press. Look at your thumbs. Little back. Exhale. Open that twist to the left side. Stay two feet on the ground. Option one. Lift the left knee and grab it. Option two. Find the bottom of your foot and kick out. Option three. And we stay for two. One. Back to the middle. Inhale. Reach. Everything up and over. And exhale, dive. Take it down. Half lift. Walk forward to a high plank. Lower on the exhale or plank through. I think I'm just going to plank this one out this time. Up dog cobra. That's the inhale. We all go back to down dog. On the exhalation, right leg comes up high. Now just one big breath in. Exhale, step through, find your lunge. Right arm reaches up, there's your twist. Stay right there for three, or if you want, you can drop your left knee, swing your right leg back, modified side plank, or you're welcome to just roll all the way to the outer edge of your back foot and stack both feet full side plank for a breath or two. If you went to side plank, you've got to put your right foot back where you found it. So look down, bring that right foot back around. Both hands to the mat and step to the top. Exhale, fold. One more time through, we'll do it. We'll bring it all the way up. Step back a little bit here. Good. To the top, inhale. Open arm twist to the left side. Now you know what's going to happen, so this time just go right into whatever twist variation you'd like. You swing through the middle. Take a little back bend. Maybe you want to add in a side stretch or something else here. And then give the right side a try. Start with an open arm twist to the right. Maybe you pick up the knee or the foot. Getting a little bit of balance work in there. Good. Release takes you back through center. Urdhva Hastasana, that's a straight reach up with a little baby back bend if you want. And down we go, exhale, fold. Half lift and lengthen. Step, walk, or hop back this time. High to low, to ranga, option to plank instead. Through to your downward facing dog, and right away, left leg will lift. Take it up, breathe in. Pull your navel tight to your spine there and use your core to step your foot through. Left arm comes up, make that twist. Option one, you stay right there. Option two, put the right knee down, swing the left leg back, modified, or take it into a full side plank. Now remember, 
full side plank doesn't mean that it's any better of a pose or any cooler or any more difficult. It just means it's a different version. The modified version can be just as challenging, especially if you float that back foot, get creative, good. Twisters, if you're there, we're coming back to meet you. Left foot has to step back around, lunges. Hands on the mat, to the top of the mat, and fold feet side by side. Exhale, stay right there. Open up your feet, maybe a little wider than your hips even. And then just get some fresh oxygenated blood to your brain. That means put your head well below your heart. It feels good to walk your hands around, explore the space from one edge of your mat to the other. Perfect time to have a little sip of water if you need one. And then we are going to drop down into a squat position. So if you feel like your feet aren't quite wide enough yet, take them even wider, turn the toes out, heels come in, and then just drop your hips. Now if you're pretty tight inside the hips here, which most of us are, you might find that your heels just won't get all the way down to the mat. That's okay. Eventually, someday, maybe they will, but it doesn't have to be today. If you need to keep your elbows up here on your thighs, that's one way to do it as well. Otherwise, if your heels can relax, then try to drop down, get your tailbone heavy. Work on lengthening up through your spine. My favorite trick for this pose is to actually just hold this front edge of my mat. And then I can sit up a little taller because I don't feel like I'm gonna fall over backward. And that helps me work on aligning things. So you do what works for you. Count it down from five. Big exhale, four. Three, malasana, garland pose, or sometimes called yogi squat. Two, and one, wherever you are at. Hands down, hips go up slowly, feel that release. Rush of blood through the legs, wiggle the toes and heels back together, and take one more full salutation with me. This will be the last one we do today. So take it all the way up, Surya Namaskar. Exhale, right back down. Half lift and lengthen, navel pulls in, check the bandhas. Step walker, hop back, and lower to Raka. Urdhvamuka, inhale. Adhvamuka, exhale back to downward facing down. Full breath in. Deep breath out, right leg lifts up. Just a quick little warrior series here before we take some seated postures. Let's step that right foot back through one more time. Start with the same twist you did before. Just for an inhale, open it up. Now on your exhale, both hands down, drop your back heel. Look at your feet for a moment. You're in prime position to do so. You're going to line up your front heel with the arch of your back foot and then bring it open and out for warrior two. So this is an open hip position. You don't have to crank your hips open. Just let them sit in a neutral, naturally open position here. A little bit deeper into that front knee if you can. Looking to stack it right over your ankle. Collarbones over hip bones and then gaze is just past your right middle finger. Breathe. Strong warrior position, Vigana Bhattarasana. Two, and one. Reverse that warrior, flip your front palm, take it up and back, this is the side body stretch. Careful not to put a bunch of pressure on the back leg. Maybe even tuck that left arm into the small of your back and make sure that you're using your core strength here. Fire up your legs. Don't come out of your front knee. Stay down low, two, and one. Now straighten out as you inhale, rise. Both legs are strong and straight, arms come out to a T, turn those front toes around to the side. And then just reset your feet if you don't feel 
sturdy. Make sure you're good. Hands are gonna come around behind your back. Lock up your fingers. We'll do chest expansion again here. Roll the shoulder blades back and toward one another first. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, inch from the hips. Navel stays tight all the way down to the ground. And then don't look down at your mat. Look back through your legs. And that way, your neck will relax here as well. Breathe. Three. Two. One. Stay upside down and put your hands back on the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw yourself up to a flat back. Pivot around to the front, so walk your hands and feet. And once you're faced off, you're gonna put a little bend in your front knee. Think about how you're gonna get to warrior three. Not by just launching off the back foot, back foot but by using your right glutes, your low belly, your low back. Here we go. One, two, three, lift. Arms can stay out away from your sides. You can draw them back. You can bring them to heart center. Or you can reach them forward toward me. Hi. You got it. Three, two, one. Stand up right there at the top of your mat. Good. Feet side by side. A little side stretch back and forth. you might as well do it twice, right? Because usually the second one does feel slightly better than the first one. Five breaths. Anyway, it works for you. Think about lengthening the spine. Crown of the head right over the tailbone. If you think about your spinal column, like a, a tube of prana, right? <laughs> like energy wants to move straight up and down. So the less um, maneuvering that that energy has to do, the better. So we wanna try to make that pathway as straight and narrow as possible. Two, one, all right. Hips go up, hands go down, take a moment there. Feel that release in your legs. And then you can just step right back to downward facing dog. If you really, 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 really want to jump back and take a vinyasa, by all means, you do what you want to do, but stretch into your down dog. Left leg goes up high when you're ready. It's just a straight kick up and back. Step through, find your lunge. Little twist open on the inhale. Exhale as you close the pose. Hands come down, set that back foot. Take a look. Make sure you're ready to rock and roll and then bring it on up for warrior two. Front heel lines up with the back arch. Take a look to the side for a moment just to get the shoulders stacked over the hips and find the depth of the pose. Then you bring the gaze back over that left middle finger and breathe with me here. Five, four, tuck in the low belly. Three, two, nothing below your navel is gonna change. On one, we just flip the front palm and we take that side body stretch. Maybe the right forearm slips in to the small of your back. Keep drawing power from the energy that you're pulling up and in. Behind and below the navel. That's the strongest part of this pose. And then inhale. Come on up, straighten out the arms and legs for a moment, pivot everything to the side. 
Reset your feet a little if you need to. Hands around behind your back. Second side grip, other thumb on top. If you want to change it up a little bit, lift your hop. Lift your gaze. Take a dive when you're ready. Stretch out those shoulders. So we've got neck and shoulders, hamstrings, some twists, some balancing. We've been bringing awareness to the core. We are going to get a little core work sequence at the end here as well. A couple more some deeper stretches. So we're really trying to hit on all those major muscle groups in the body. And release your hands down anytime you're ready. Exhale, let it go. Walking around to the front, pivot all ten toes around. Sink a little bit into that left knee, just so that you've got a good place to start from. And then instead of pushing off your back foot, try to literally lift yourself into warrior three. One, two, three, go. Woo. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, stand up. Both feet side by side. Stretch your arms overhead. Oh. Tick tock, left and right a couple times. Hands around to find your low back. Lift your heart center up. Final back bend. Let it be as big and feel as good as you need. And then exhale, fold all the way back down. Half lift here. Listen close. Keep your feet together now. <clears throat> Squat down. Knees in in this little crouching curl position. Pressing into flat palms if you can get them down. If you can't, that's okay, but you might want to walk your hands forward a step. And then two flat palms on the ground. Pull your forehead towards your knees and really, really round your back. It's just a nice way to stretch out your thoracic spine or your mid-back. It's a little bit tougher place to get at. Try to make your shoulder blades as broad across your back as you can. I'm just not going to guide through any more today. How about we try to flow one time, just those couple of postures, and then we'll take it down to a seat. Here we go, right leg up nice and high. Step through, find a lunge. Inhale, your right arm goes up for one breath. Exhale, release, put your back heel down. Inhale, up and open for warrior two. Sink a little bit deeper on the exhale. Reverse. Stretch up and back. Exhale, straighten the arms and legs. Pit at the toes, and as you inhale, bring the hands around with the hop. Exhale, dive down to the bottom. When you're empty, fingertips hit the mat. On the inhale, you pivot it around. On the exhale, you lift, warrior three. Listen close. Slightly different exit this time. Hands come back to the mat. How about just a little standing split stretch there for a second or two. Set both feet side by side. Half lift. Crouch and curl one more time. Get down low. Press into your palms. Round your back. Squeeze everything in. Lift your gaze, take it back, right into down dog, or vinyasa through to meet us. Down dogs, full breath cycle. And we'll finish strong on the left. Left leg up one time, flowing through. Exhale, step through. Reach up, there's your breath in as you twist. On the breath out, release, set the back heel down. Warrior two, open it up. Go deeper on the exhalation. Find the strength of your legs and your core. Reverse. Beat body. V 
Vira Exhale as you open and pivot to the side. Hands come around behind the back and lift your heart. Next breath in. Tuck the navel tight to the spine and down. Rasa Rita Bhagavad All the way down to the bottom. Hands release. Pivot on the inhale. Walk it around. Get a little momentum there as you come off your back foot. Woo! <laughs> and find your warrior three. Make sure you've got your balance. Don't rush it there. Take a dive down, standing split. Lift your back foot up just a little bit higher. And then release both feet side by side. Half lift here. Good, drop those hips down one more time. And this time, you're just gonna come all the way to your seat. Once your butt hits the mat, lift your legs up, meet me in boat. Just gonna sneak you right into some core work before you can even think about it. Navasana, hold that boat for five. Four, three, we're going down to half boat in two and one. What does that mean? Lower as close down to the ground as you can get without your shoulder blades or your heels touching the mat. Four, three, two, one. Sit back up. Oh, hold it now for four. Three, two, one. Down low for four. Three, two, one. Up for three. If this is too much for you, just stay in boat. Two, one. Down three, two, one. Up two, one. Down two, one. Bring it up five times, singles. Touch your toes. Two, three, four, five, and down for good. On your exhale, relax completely. Whew. You guys stay right where you're at. Stretch everything out long on your back there for a moment. And then as your arms come down, capture your right knee. Get that good, quick squeeze. While you're holding your right knee, go ahead and put a bend in your left knee and your left foot will just set down on the mat there. And then as we release the right side, we're going to cross the right ankle over, let the knee fall into figure four position. Make sure that feels good first. Might be all you need today. If you do need more, take it into supine pigeon by picking up your bottom foot. Arms can go through the legs if you'd like. Interlace the fingers. Whatever seems to work best for you, as long as you're getting a good deep hip stretch on the right side, that's all that really matters. Try to take some tension out of your cheekbones, your jaw, just lift your head, relax back down, maybe gently turn your gaze a few times. Steady breathing. Yeah, if you find that that core work series kind of kicked you into a quicker breath than usual, now is a good time to just. Remind yourself that it's all right to slow the breathing back down. And release and set your left foot down on the ground. You're going to let the right side go, but listen close. Here's what we're going to do. This might be kind of tricky to see, but I'm just going to roll to my left and keep that right knee up close so that I can try to find my ankle, and then just lay on your left side for a moment and stretch your right quads. So I just roll to my left, I'm pulling my right heel up toward my right glute, and then just stretching out right quadriceps, right hip flexors.
and then you're going to let your right foot go, but stay on your left side. Just stay right where you're at and kick your right foot out in front of you so that your right leg is nice and long. And then roll back a little bit until you end up in a twist. It should feel exactly like that first twist that we started with. Left hand can come down, still find the back side of your knee, or maybe you're stretched out enough that you can reach further down and grab for your ankle or your foot there in your twist as well. Getting enough quad stretch, move your kneecap further away from your body, right? So that it feels almost like you're trying to do kind of a bow pose on your side. And then release that right foot, kick it right out in front of you here. Or pardon me, that's your left foot. <laughs> left side is what we're on. Left leg stays long, and now you can unravel the upper body again. Lean all the way back, resituate so that both shoulder blades can fall as close to the mat as they will, and enjoy your twist.
resting position for as long as you've got. The more time, the better. I thank you for jumping on. Have a wonderful Monday. Uh, we're live in the park tonight, if the weather holds, uh, at 6.30 for some more flow. So I'll see you then. Take good care of yourself. Take good care of each other. Namaste.